very, very hard act to follow. Well, I'm not going to be but Rachel is going to be a very, very hard act to follow. Not that I'm even going to try. I think that uh, I'm not going to talk for very long. I'm sort of the unaccustomed as I am. Um, it's sort of not about lawyers tonight at all. And it's all I really want to do is to, by way of sort of, if you like, example, show that we as lawyers, not played mutes, but lawyers, I think, generally, are increasingly in the last 10 years or more taking pro bono very seriously themselves. So certainly, you know, we very much welcome everything Art Gets for Peace to doing. We were very, very uh, you know, happy to be involved. And Trevor Thomas here, who primarily did the drafting on the documentation, is here with me. Um, what I really wanted to do was just give you an example of how seriously we at Clayton Newts take pro bono and not bore you with the detail of it, but more just give you a few figures to show you that we, when we say pro bono, it's nothing to do with marketing or PR or glossy brochures that we do a little bit of just so people think we're good blokes and whatever. We take it very, very seriously. So what, what I've done is I've put together a few sort of, you know, if you like, cold hard facts and examples that really underscore just how uh, seriously we take pro bono. Um, I mean, our view is that everyone, every lawyer has an inherent professional responsibility to, uh, to, to get involved in pro bono work and I suppose that's why it's become an integral part of, 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 our, of our practice. Um, from our perspective, what we try to do is make sure that you know, we are able to offer free legal advice and representation to disadvantaged people, marginalised people, or people who just cannot afford legal assistance and also can't obtain legal aid because, as you may or may not know, of course, there are people that are entitled to legal aid and in certain circumstances that will uh, assist them, but if you fall outside of those parameters, then you're stuck sort of in between two stools. We also do a fair bit of work with community groups and charities. Only today I had a very nice lunch with Fiona McClay, who's in-house counsel for World Vision, and at Clay Newt's we do a lot of work with World Vision. We uh, support them very, very much, and we in our construction group have been doing a lot of work with World Vision on a number of their projects. I should say this, the notion of pro bono work is relatively new within law firms in Australia. It, um, at Clayton Newt's we established our pro bono program in 1997, so it's 10 years young. And I suppose our commitment is underscored by the fact that we actually now have not just a director or a consultant in charge of pro bono, but we have appointed a partner of the firm who solely works in pro bono, David Hillard. He's worked in pro bono for many, many years. He's also an incredibly funny man and an entertainer, but he heads up our pro bono section and he is a partner of the firm. So I suppose just going through a few facts and figures just to show you just what our commitment to pro bono means and the fact that we put our money where our mouth is. Pro bono now represents almost 2.5% of our legal work. Now in the context of a national firm the size of Clayton Newts and there are you know, a number of others within Australia of that size, that is absolutely, sig absolutely significant. It means that in commercial terms our pro bono our pro bono practice taken as a whole is in fact the firm's second largest client. So that is, that is quite significant. Just to give you a few more figures, over the last eight years we've provided more than 170,000 hours of legal, free legal assistance to more than 2,300 pro bono clients Australia wide. In the financial year just gone, 2006, our pro bono practice, this is to give you some real cold hard dollars, was worth over $9 million of work you know, in terms of our fees, which would be the equivalent of 16 full-time lawyers at various levels. We have an expectation that every lawyer at Clayton Newt's be involved in pro bono work to some, to some extent. In the last year, we acted for more than 150 community groups and charities, including Architects for Peace. We also undertook law reform on behalf of some of Australia's most marginalised peoples. We helped hundreds of individuals who saw us at one of our six drop-in legal clinics and actually seconded some senior lawyers to the Consumer Law Advice Clinic in Brisbane and to the New South Wales Disability Discrimination Legal Centre. Every lawyer in our Canberra office attended our First Stop Youth Legal Advice Service. We also acted for 200 individuals who could not obtain legal aid. As I said to you, you know, there are certain tests to, to determine whether or not you're entitled to legal aid. We acted for people that weren't entitled to it. The, uh, each of our individual clients was referred to us by a community legal organisation. The cases involved many, many different things, from assisting more than 20 victims of domestic violence in bringing compensation claims to, and you may have seen this, to successfully overturning a murder conviction before the High